Oh man, ah, it's great to be a wrestling fan. WWE is killing it, especially last year. Oh my goodness. I mean, you had all these fantastic matches, fantastic memorable moments, especially great balls of fire, let me tell you. Uh, now we can finally continue on this fantastic year. At what does that say about an indie show running MSG? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Clearly sold out for some reason. I don't know why. But, you know, <laughs> all the whole show was just terrible. I don't even know why they even bother doing that. It's one thing to sell out an arena, which I'll give them credit for. They did it. They probably gave away most of those tickets, but they did it. And you put on a crap show like that. Huh. <laughs> BNR was so upset about it. They had to cut the pay per view out right away after the main event. <laughs> That's how you know nothing like that's ever gonna happen again. What is this I'm hearing about a new promotion? Well, we already have enough as is. Why do we need more? Chris Jericho is with this company? What? All Elite Wrestling. Oh, this is clearly. Being the elite, which is already a crap mess as is, they're just trying to get as much attention as possible. You know what? I, I, this is not worth it. I mean, seriously, who would have thought that that would have been a good idea? And and, and take away their success, maybe I bring out who are the young bucks? Who are the young bucks? I mean, their stuff in Ring of Honor was way overrated. I don't know why that. Uh, being the elite was terrible. Why? I don't even know half of these people. Who the hell is MJF? <laughs> Sounds like a really bad jobber if you ask me. Yeah, see, MJF got eliminated by some little guy. What about this Joker thing? This is so dumb. <laughs> Wait, he's getting a world title match just for that? They're clearly ripping off the Royal Rumble just with less entrance. Cody and Dustin Rhodes for 22 and a half minutes of a snooze fest. Oh my god. They should have just stayed at WWE because Stardust and Goldust had a way better match than that pile of trash. You just know that. Who is Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho beat him? Man, that was just something else. Freaking snooze fest. Like this whole this whole AEW idea is just they're plummeting down very, very fast. They're not even gonna survive this show. I would be surprised if they are still a thing in like five years. To another pay-per-view with no champions. Like, like, what is with that? Like, you know you need the championships. And it's not just to be a prop. I mean, you need the championships to make me go, I'm gonna watch this because there's champions. They're trying to make it worthwhile. You don't see that here. Why is this just a thing? Thank God that Cody Darby Allen match is finally over. Man, that, that was a snooze fest. But it ended in a draw, so of course it was going to be a snooze fest. That's another thing. Why do you have draws? We don't need them anymore. Get with the program. Of course the Elite won their match because they're not going to lose at all. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous if the Elite lost a match on a company they're making all by themselves. Freaking annoying. At least the NWO was consistent. Another pay-per-view. No champions. I mean, when are you gonna have the champions? I wanna turn it off. But I have people that I know that are forcing me to watch this because apparently they can't enjoy the phenomenon that was WrestleMania 34. Yet again, the Young Bucks.
can't lose a match in AEW. They, everyone's joining, cheering for joy. Cause they're like, oh, that was a great match. I didn't think it was completely crap. Then again, Cody and Dustin Rhodes. How come Cody can't use Rhodes, by the way? Another pay-per-view. Another time where there's no champions. Yet apparently they're supposed to start a show called Dynamite. <laughs> they ain't gonna survive at all. Oh my goodness. Uh, of course it Young Bucks lost. And a championship was on the line. Oh, sure. Leave it for AEW to give Chris Jericho a championship. I mean, there's a reason why he only had secondary belts in WWE when he came back after his, like, 500th return. Man, that was just messed up. And at that point, I'm like, get the hell out of here. No one needs you. I mean, it's like three championships. We'll deal with that. It's just now the issue is, is Dynamite is the most boring show on the entire world. I mean, look at it. It's like begging for attention. See, I don't know why people are doing this. Like, NXT is way better. Yeah. MJF threw the towel, all right. He's like, hi, I want to throw a towel on AEW for this year. Uh, that was so bad. Wait, the World Championship's not the main event? At least WWE does that! An unsanctioned Lights Out match? Clearly they're not advertising that well. I can see everything. Who's the biggest jackass in pro wrestling? Clearly, AEW. For giving us this crap. Good thing I'm by myself now. I can change the channel. Hey, yeah. When Roman Reigns and the Usos pour dog food over a Corbin. <laughs> That's such good shit. <laughs>